Hey guys, welcome to your third iOS development tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to properly use a UI image view and insert your own images, and then I'll show you how to use a switch and a slider. So let's get started with a new project. All right, let's save that. And the first thing I'm going to do is I have an image kind of just in the very corner here. And I'm going to drag this up and throw it into my supporting files. And in Xcode 5, they have this little images.xc assets file. And that's where they should go, so I might as well put it in there. And basically, it's just all the images that will be in this file of your application and these are the default ones that they keep and it's just a blank image so now we have this little peanut butter jelly time banana guy so let's go to our main storyboard and insert the objects that we are going to use so first thing we want is a UI image view well that's a little too big but we'll bring it right up here a little smaller and then we're going to use a switch, which is this right here. Put it to the left, and a slider. Put that to the right. And then under the slider, we're going to have a label that's going to show the value of the slider. So right now, we'll make it, we'll, we'll keep it at label. Before we go on to anything else, we're going to change the slider's value because I want it to output the slider value to this label. So I'm going to change the maximum value of this slider to 100, and then the current value will be 50. So we'll leave that there. And now let's go to our editor and connect these. We'll go to View Controller H. And we'll go connecting our outlet of our image, connect outlet of slider, connect our label outlet, and we'll make this an action for the switch because we want to know when the value has changed. So we'll switch change, and we also need an action for the slider because every time the value changes in the slider, we'll want it to output the new value. So we'll put slider changed. Now, for this UI image view, right here in the attributes inspector, we have image. So what we can do is we can just choose our image. All right, so now that we have this image we can leave that and we're going to go to our main file and kind of do all the work so when the switch is changed what I want it to do is I want it to basically hide the picture and then when we change it again bring it back so the best way to do that is you say if image is hidden which returns a boolean so if it is hidden it'll return yes so if the image is hidden we'll say image set hidden no so if it is hidden we'll make it not hidden else if it's not hidden we'll make it hidden with set hidden yes so right now the image is set to viewable it isn't hidden because this isn't checked so at the moment it's is hidden equals no so the first time we switch it it's going to disappear and then we switch it again and it'll come right back now for when the slider changes actually first in view did load basically it, it, it's self-explanatory once your view loads these are all the things you want to do first so the first thing we want to do is we want to change our slider label. So we'll go slider. This is the value. And we'll go 
set value to 50. So every time the view loads, it'll set the slider to the original value of 50. And then we'll go slider, oh sorry, we'll go label because that's the label for the slider. Label.txt equals 50. Basically this sh outputs the value, but since it's just the default value, we don't actually need a algorithm to set the value, we just have it go to 50. And then here, when the sliders change, this is where the algorithm is. So we're going to say uh, int slider value equals slider value. There we go. So it returns a float floating point number, which has decimals, but I made it an integer, so what's going to happen is it's just going to round it off but since it's between 0 and 100, it really doesn't matter. It, it's it's going to be plenty accurate. And so now that we have the slider value, we'll say uh, label dot text equals and a string string with format at percent i comma slider value. So that should output everything all nice. I'm going to go back to the storyboard. Yes, this is centered. Let's give it a run. All right, so we've got our default 50 value. And when we change it, every everywhere we slide it, it changes the value. So our slider works good. And you could use this. You don't really need to output the value of the slider but now you know how to get the value of it and if you ever have a slider you could have it output this and then use it in a mathematical equation for some reason and here we have our picture and look it's hidden and we turn it back on and hide it again so this is a little simple app with UI image view uh, a switch and a slider uh, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.